Fare bella fugira. Make a good impression. Be a sharp dressed man. Episode number 29. Hello, my name's Greg Story. I'm the president of Dale Carnegie Training here in Tokyo. I run my own soft skills training franchise business, and many years ago, I decided to dress for success. Each day, I consult my schedule, and that day's work content drives my sartorial choices. Before I head out the door every day, I check myself in the mirror and ask, do I look like one of the most professional people in my industry? Here is a good question to ponder. Do I dress well because I'm the president, or am I the president because I chose to start dressing well? This day, I had a British Chamber breakfast event at the Rapongi Grand Hyatt, a business meeting in Shinjuku with new staff and a potential client, and lunch at the Tokyo American Club. Unfortunately, I didn't meet any new clients at the breakfast event, although I did see some existing clients and people I know. Grant Cardone, who is a hard-driving American sales trainer I follow, says we are all invisible in sales. And he is right. That means we have to make a big effort to get out there and be seen. So attending events is part of that effort for me, and I attend a lot of events. The overall effect I wanted for the day was to seem approachable. I chose my woolen silk, Brioni, light grey, three-button, single-breasted suit with a Prince of Wales check. It has a subtle light blue window pane pattern in it, a single pleat and a double cuff. The shirt was from Australian shirt maker Abelard, and it was light blue with French cuffs. I had a Chanel light blue tie with a double Windsor knot, Etro strong blue pocket square to provide a little lift in the suit, silver cufflinks and my Dale Cunningham corporate badge. For a change, I wore my Gucci gold watch with black strap. This watch has a very plain black dial, very zen, and I liked it when I saw it in Sydney on a business trip many decades ago. Gucci assures me they have no parts for that watch, and if it breaks down, they wash their hands of the whole affair. Apart from not supporting their products, you have to love the watch industry, where everything is so expensive, it takes months to get your watch back from an overhaul. After I left the house, I realized I'd make a made a faux pas pairing silver cufflinks with a gold watch. So I'll be wiser to that error in the future. The shoes were Kamina Mallorca High Shine Brown Toe Cap Oxfords. Do you need to sell more? Is your sales manager stressing you about making your monthly sales quota? Do it yourself. Trial and error. Waste time and resources. There's a perfect solution for you, and that is Dale Carnegie Tokyo Training, and the details you can find in the attachments to this video.